Kick Fury here. Hop aboard as we explore our main tradition, bean hole beans on dumpsters, drive-ins, dives, and dumpster diving. Let's go! What's going on here? Bean hole bean. Yes. Independence yes. Day. We're jacked up. We're going to have some snappers. Yes. We've got to have red snappers with the beans. Where does it all go? We're having some beans. All right. Yeah. Look at this little puppy. A little cast iron. Seasoned. Mm -hmm. Forever. Yeah. Forever. All right. This is uh, a Dutch oven, they call it. <laughs> it is. Make your own joke. <laughs> you ever give the old lady a Dutch oven? A couple times. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Me too. All right. I like to call it the Roma Dome. Yes. All right. So, uh, we do our beans. We use great northern beans for this recipe. You can use pea beans. You can. Yeah, and pintos. Uh, I think so, soldier beans Soldiers. or something like that. Yep. But we're going to use great northern yeah, beans. That's the way right? it's done. And we got some onions over here. Mm -hmm. We're not going to be dicing them up. We're going to keep them chunky. Yeah, chunky. All right, baby. Now we got uh, two big, big ones right here our molasses and our maple syrup. They bring the sweetness. They do. They bring the sweetness. We need to counteract that sweetness a little something. Dry mustard. Bam. How about that? And a little SP for me. Yep. A little bit of salt on there. What's the big. Most important ingredient for you in this. For me, what I love the most right here. Hey, listen to this. Ooh. Smack it. Smack it. Ooh. Salt pork, baby. All right, we're going to actually line this sucker with the salt pork, mm -hmm. and then we're going to dice some of it up and have it in our beans. It's delicious. Nice little saltiness. Got to look out when you add this. You don't need to add a mm -hmm. lot because a mm -hmm. lot of your salt's going to be coming from this yep. puppy right yep. here. Yep, you need that grease, that uh, grime from the salt pork. That's right. Super good. Oh, God. Super good. So what we're going to do for you guys, we're going to put all these ingredients in the description. We're going to put the recipe in the description mm -hmm. as well because I'm not going to sit here and be like, okay, guys, now what we got to do is take a quarter, a cup no. of this, and no. you know, half a cup. No. Some of this shit, you know, you got to feel it out. It's on exact science. That's right. It really isn't. That's right. You know, some people might want to put some brown sugar in there mm -hmm. or some regular granulated sugar, something to make it a little sweeter. Yep. So this is what we have here. Now we got to go check out the pit where we're going to cook these puppies. Let's check it out. Let's, Let's see what go. we got. Well, holy smokes, look out for that. <laughs> yeah, we got a little hole in the ground. Yeah. So what we have here is two thirds of a 35 gallon drum that I've recessed in the ground and I've lined the bottom of it with bricks. Now, why the hell would I do that? Uh, bricks help hold the heat, cook it from the bottom. That's right. So the drum helps with that, the bricks help with that. Some people just dig a hole. That's just foolish, especially if you cook it every year. That's you right. dig a hole every year, that's just dumb. Yeah, it is just dumb. If you're gonna do it, do it friggin' right. Mm -hmm. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a fire in here and we're gonna make the coals all the way to the top. Yeah. We're gonna take out about half the coals. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put our pot in, put the coals back in, yep. cover it with a street sign, don't tell nobody, and then we're gonna cover that with dirt. Excellent. What wood do you think we should use? I would go with a dry hardwood. Oak works well. Stay away from the soft woods. Burn too quick. Can be toxic. That's right. Oak is the best wood for this process. The holes are gonna stay hotter for a lot longer because mm -hmm. we're gonna be letting these puppies cook for about 10, 12 hours overnight. Mm -hmm. And we need that time to lock in all the beautiful beans. Yes, all goodness. the magic. Oh God. So we're gonna get to making a fire right now. Let's light this fire. I didn't mm -hmm. fart, you liar. Uncle Negative here. You guys are taking 24 hours to cook beans. I can go down to Hanny's and get some M&B's and get some of that bread in the can in like 20 minutes. What the fuck are you guys doing?
right. Are you ready to assemble some beans? I am ready. Okay, so what we've already done, we've cut up our salt pork and we've lined the Dutch oven mm -hmm. with said salt pork. Mm -hmm. Now another thing that we've done, they tell you to soak your beans, okay? Soak your beans for about 24 hours prior. Yep. Or you can parboil your beans, mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. right? Which means you bring them up to a boil, boil them for 20 minutes, pull them off, drain them, save the juice. Very important. That's an important part. Mm -hmm. yep. Now soaking your beans, it actually removes gaseous property. That's a hill of beans. I know, right? I don't buy it. <laughs> so let's freaking get it going. Yeah. So here we have our beans, all right? Ooh, steamy. Steamy, I know, right? So we're gonna add a little bit of beans at first. Okay. And we're gonna save, we can't bring it right up to the top. We no. need to save a little bit of room because at the top, we're gonna pour in some water. All right, so we're gonna go about like yay. Mm -hmm. All right, next thing. If you would, let's do our what ingredients. Oh. There you hmm. are, sir. Hmm. That's probably our maple syrup by the looks of it. That is correct. All right, I like it. You got a little bit on you. I did, I did. I'm gonna lift my leg but, uh, and my shirt. Mm -hmm. Looks delicious. Mm -hmm. And I shall give you the molasses, sir. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How many oh. cups of beans we got in here? Oh, shit, I don't know. I think we're- uh, How many pounds of beans? Well, for four pounds. We're doing four pounds. I actually cooked about five. You know, just in case we could top her off a little bit, mm -hmm. you know. Um, we'll probably get close closer to five pounds in there, I think. Yeah, so. it only comes once a year around here, so got to get all we can get. That's right, that's right. So I uh, give her a little stir if you could, Tony. Mm -hmm. And while you're at it, got a little bit more salt pork mm -hmm. sprinkle in there. No such thing as too much. No, I don't think so. No, we're going to do that. Mm. It already smells wonderful. It does. Molasses. It does. And we're going to take some of our onions here. See, yeah, we just quartered our onions. Yep. You know, keep them big. They're all going to caramelize. Mm -hmm. They're all going to cook down in the ground. Yep. yep. All right. Now let's do some of that dry. Maybe about half that mm -hmm. dry or so. Mustard, brown sugar, yeah. salt, pepper. Yep, that's right. Yummy. We actually did a little bit of uh, a little bit of brown sugar in there mm -hmm. just to sweeten it up a little bit more. The old ball and chain, she likes it sweet. She does. That's why she's with me. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. She's got right. no other choice. I know it. So here we're going to put some more beans in here. Yeah, a little bit more. Add a little bit more and give her a good mix. Mm -hmm. Might as well finish up with our onions. Might as well. Put the rest of this mixture in. Put the rest of our uh, spices in there. Yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good. Jeez, you guessed that just about right. I know, right? So we do have a little bit left over here. Not a big deal. Who gives a shit, right? So now yeah, we need to be given a lot of them in a couple days. <laughs> yeah, 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 a few shits here and there. All right. So we'll get that. Keep on stirring that up, all nice and good and stuff. You know, trying not to like get into the uh, yeah. the side, the salt pork. So that salt pork around the side. That's all gonna. All that fat's gonna render right into the beans, mm. baby. Well, you well. won't even be able to see any chunks when nope. we yard this out in the morning. No, nope, you don't. It's gonna be beautiful luscious all right all right so now that bean juice that we saved we're gonna take that coming over there pal coming in hot coming in hot we're gonna fill it right up to the top or you leave a gap or what no i'm pretty much gonna go right to the top mm -hmm. with it you're supposed to leave yourself about an inch or two yep we're probably gonna spill about an inch or two out hopefully not the way out to the fire no. pit well i got a i got a solution for that you do do you no i try <laughs> All right. So give her a nice little, another little stir mm -hmm. in there. I don't want to get uh, it everywhere. Yeah, don't want to get I it everywhere. I don't want to get crazy with it. That's fine. We're looking good. We're looking good. Don't real want the old ball shandy come in and be like, why is there bean juice all over the porch? Jesus Christ. Porch smells like beans. It's going to smell a lot worse tomorrow. I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So there we are. So now we're going to take our beefy. Yes. Our beefy. Uh, Tin foil here. Heavy duty. Heavy duty tin foil. <laughs> We're already fucking it up. Yep. Look, you got her all fixed. Yeah, I'm a pro with this. So I keep. I got a nine-year-old in the house. It's always screwed up like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
We're making beans here, people. Yeah. Oh, Lisa, don't lose the, the brown bread. bread. Brown bread's hey, getting a little crazy. For all you dubbers out there, there's a couple things you need with beans. One of them, red snappers. The other one, brown bread. Brown bread. Bam. Bread in a can. Yep, from B&M. Pop it out. Well, I just like that. It gives you a little lines you can cut. Yep. Do, 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 do. yep. Perfect. A little bit of butter on it. Let's go put these puppies in the Let's gut. Let's chuck them in, man. All right. Put it out there. Huh. Been a long day sitting in that chair watching this fire gig. I know, right? Here we are. It's late night. It's like 11 o'clock at night. So fucking be quiet. Gotta keep it quiet. All right. We gotta shovel out this puppy. About half the coals we're gonna take mm -hmm. out. All right. So freaking hit it, John. Oh, don't you know that's the sound of the men Get back. working on the chain? Get back. I think. Beans are in. Shovel some of this here stuff right on there? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah? Yeah, go ahead. Let's throw some of this shit right on it. People drive by, I think we're burying a body out here. Henry, his arm. Seriously. Oh, here's a leg. Here's a wing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like, the leg or the wing, Henry? Ground's gonna tell us if we got any leaks. You'll see a little bit of steam coming up from there. We don't want any of that. We want to trap it all in. And I bet you. Feel that? Oh yeah. Feel that? Oh yeah, you can oh. already feel it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got some beans in the ground. Uh, we do. Well, time to call it a day, ain't it? Yeah. Get back at it in the morning. We have a little fucking nightcap. Yep. Yep. And well. then we're going to check in with you guys right in the freaking morning. See you then. Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, buddy, want to do me a favor and stop that grill? You got it, dude! <laughs> you smell that? It smells like burning plastic or something. Oh, fuck. You're supposed to take it away from the house, you dink! You never told me I had to take it away from the house, guy! Fuck. Oh, fuck. Yep. Happens to the best of us. Tell some dink to fire up your grill. You'd think he'd have the smarts to pull it off the house, but he's wicked drunk. Torches the vinyl side. All right, happens all the time. I'm gonna show you guys how to replace a couple pieces. I ain't gonna show you how to do the whole thing. That'd be pretty damn boring. I ain't trying to teach you how to be a vinyl cider. I'm gonna teach you how to replace a piece. You know, oftentimes I got a buddy, oh dude, I can hit a golf ball straight. Dude, I hit him straight all the time. Fucking whack, bam, vinyl side and busted. You gotta replace a piece. I've seen it before. I hit him straight, guy. I hit him straight. Mm hmm. Sure you do, you dick. So let's uh, replace some fucking side. <sighs> Get your legs up.
about 140, I got this. All right, first thing we gotta do, we gotta get a couple of these courses off, expose the piece of siding that we're gonna be removing. So this is pretty easy. You can usually just go like that, pull it, pull it down a little bit, give us some convincing. Go on and walk with me, Tony. Oh. Look at that. All right, here's the end of our piece of side. We are exposed, just like that. Wow. Yeah. That's easy. Yeah, it is super easy. Now we're gonna get this other part exposed. All right, I'm gonna pull down on it, and just like so, gonna come down. All right. Wow. I know. It's like a shit, huh? Yeah. So now you gotta come in here. You gotta remove, remove your nails. Now you can either pop them out like I'm doing. Or you could just beat them into your house if you want to, whatever, don't matter to me. I like to leave one right there in the middle, come down on this end, so then when you get it loose, she just doesn't go flopping down on one side. You now, know if you saying? just pounded them into the side of your house, you still have the head to deal with, right? So you'd have to bust that off. Well, sometimes you can fold it over. Yeah. It's not a big deal. So. Look at that. Look at that. One piece, there's, there's gone. There's that piece of side just like that, all right? So we're gonna be right back. I'm gonna go get a piece of siding. We're gonna stick a new piece of siding up in there. All right, all right. let's do it. Gather around. This week's not the clove hitch, AKA the clove hitch, just because that's what it's friggin' named. This week, ladies and gentlemen, I have Tony behind the camera. Hey, thanks for having me here, Gig. All right, buddy. So, the clove hitch is a binding knot, can be used in many applications. One of which is uh, tying a bumper on your boat, hmm. okay? Because this is a knot that you want to be tying on a railing, okay? So, come on over here, Tony. All right, let's Let me show you how to do it. All right, clove hitch, you want to go around. You're going to crisscross it just like that, right? Very simple. And then we're going to come through. Boom. And that right there is a clove hitch, mm -hmm. okay? Now this knot will slip yep. if you don't keep it tiger tight just like this. Mm -hmm. You gotta keep it tiger tight. Now, another way that you can, this can be a little bit more rugged, so we're gonna loosen it by pushing the two ends towards each other. Watch how easy this goes. Boom, loosen right up. Wow. How about that? We're gonna rotate it on the other side of the rail. How about that? Now we're gonna tighten it up again. Now, it's, it's a lot more force down here. It's aesthetically pleasing too. It is, oh, I like that. Yeah. So you can frickin' reef right on this sucker. Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. This sucker ain't going nowhere. No. All right, so I'm gonna show you one more time, guys, how to do this, all right? Drum roll, please. No, 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 you scare the fish away. Keep it down, Kate. Okay, so we're gonna go around. We're gonna go back over. That's a clove hitch. Tony, I want to thank you for joining me this week. Yeah, I appreciate the invite. Thanks. I want to thank you people too for getting naughty. All right, so we have our full piece of siding that we're going to be replacing. Now this end's going to be going underneath this side right here, and this one's going to be over. All right, so we get this uh, static, get it clicked in like so. Clicking in, that's when you know it's home. Yeah, you gotta get a, you know, sometimes you gotta, you know, work it a little bit yep. side to side. Yep. You know, and make sure your seams right here, they can get bunged up right on the seam. Give her a little tap, give her a little love tap. Mm -hmm. Sign's pretty rugged, especially this time of year in the summer, you know, it's warm, it's uh, more malleable, and the winter time it tends to get brittle. All right, so this piece of siding's in. We have our factory edge, if you mm -hmm. look over here, you know, actually you see how we pulled that out. I'll show you how we get that back in. Here's our factory edge. We got about an inch, inch and a quarter overhang. Mm -hmm. That's where we want to be. Yep. All right, so now I think we are good to go here. Let me just 
Look at something here. Yeah, I like it. You like it? I can't see it from my house. So. I like it. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, let's nail this puppy off. A certain technique, certain style. What are you using for nails? You know, I'm going to use aluminum nails. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, we're going to nail this probably about every 16 inches or so. Mm -hmm. All right. So just pick up on this piece. We're going to go right in the center of the slot. Mm -hmm. Now leave it about a quarter inch out. Huh. You know why we do that? Well, seasonal changes, expansion, contraction. That's right. That's why we have the factory edge, so she can slide back and forth. That's why the uh, the nail and flange is cut away from that area. Mm -hmm. Needs to move. And Needs you notice breathe. on the bottom the mm -hmm. same thing, so yep. it can move back and yep. forth. So we're gonna come down here. You know, actually we got a hole right where our old piece was. Mm. We're, we're gonna use it. A little tap, just like it's that. Easy for everybody. Yeah, I like it. Keep on digging for your aluminum nails. Yep. Yep. I put them in One my... tool belt with 12 different kinds of nails and screws in it. That's right, yep. I can put them in my mouth. Yep. Makes me feel tough. <laughs> Spit nails. <laughs> Spit nails. Tough, tough as nails. Like Lady Dykstra. <laughs> Banging old ladies. Banging old ladies and blowing coke. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to keep on going down the line here. Lenny Dykstra, he's no Howard Johnson, though. Yeah, I know no, you're, no. you're a big uh, Mets guy, huh? No, yeah, well, he's 30 for 30. 30-30 club. 30-30 many, many years in a row. Oh, Joe's had a hell of a fucking motel, too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. So here we go. We're continuing down. Working our way down. Working. Got two or three more left. What is the exact length of a, of a full sheet of vinyl siding? So typically with your siding, you know, if you're siding a house, the full length is a... Uh, 12-6. Okay. So you do 12-6-9-6-6-6-3-6. Those would be your starter courses. Yep. And why is that? Well, just because it fucking looks good. Yep, it does. It's it does. just, uh, that's how we do it. That's just how we do it. This is how we do it. All right. Now, we are officially nailed off. Okay. So the next step here is getting this puppy all clipped in back together. Okay. Now this is where this little bugger comes in. This is called a side swiper. If you're gonna be doing vinyl, you're gonna need a goddamn side swiper. Yeah, you know what they say about vinyl? Hey, it's vinyl. That is true. Unless some dink fucking <laughs> runs his golf ball right. through it. That's right. Or fires up the grill a little too Friggin close. Friggin' prick, it puts the grill on. So we're gonna start with the lower course. You know, back here, I actually had to pull this. So we're gonna come up underneath it. I'm gonna pull down on that. It's gonna click like in, mm -hmm. just like that. We've already got this piece in. That's yeah. our piece right there. Wow. I just wanna check, make sure everything's all copacetic down here. Mm -hmm. We're good. Yeah. All right. Moving back this way. Coming back into this piece. Get up and under. The old Get reach up and around. under. That's right. You're gonna pull it. Usually you gotta work it a little bit right around the seams. So you're pulling it, you're working it, That's reaching right. around, around the seams. And then, if you get into a good rhythm with it. You can just It's like a hot knife in butter. Wow. Like so. Wow. Come out a that, little bit. That looked 100% in, but. I know. <laughs> yeah. It's not like I got screwed up around my seat. There we go. Pull it in. Click it down. There ah, she is. Nice. Locked yeah. and loaded. Locked and loaded. Ain't going nowhere. So now she's home. It's just as easy as that. Oh, hey, how you doing? Pull up chair by the fire. During the early 1900s, lumberjacks at remote logging camps in the north woods of Maine relied on camp cooks to prepare and serve their meals. Often called poor man's meat, beans are rich in protein and amino acids and were a staple item after a long day of felling timber. Cooks were so important that they earned the second highest pay grade in camp at $140 a month working 98 hour work weeks. Here's to you cooks. The more you know. <laughs> Fire seems to be doing nice. Whew, it's throwing some heat, I can tell you that.
Day of reckoning has arrived. And we're about ready to dig up these suckers. You ready? Let's dive right in. Well, I'm not ready, but I'm gonna have to be ready. Take I have to put my beer down. Fucking shovel. Here's a lovely song about my favorite food. Lima, Lento, Zoy, and Pinto, Navy, Northern, and Garbanzo, kidneys, and frijoles, Negroes. I love beans. I love beans. Woo woo woo! I love beans! She hot. I know she is that. Hot. Still warm in there. Boom, baby. Alright. I'll cover this over. Just in case they need to go back in. Yeah, you don't want to leave that wide open. You have that baby Jessica situation. Seriously. I don't want her going down in the well. All right. How about you? High in fiber, low in fat. Yeah, hey, but you didn't know that. When I eat beans, I say it in my own little cloud. Nobody comes to visit me in my little cloud. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe because I'm... Roll that beautiful bean footage. Look at that. Got a spoon? Yeah, buddy. Hold on. All right. Oh, that smells like goodness. Give it a little stir. Oh, yeah. Look at the... Oh, look at that. Yep. There's some of that luscious salt pork. Oh, baby. Cutting muffins because... I love beans. Hey, 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 I love beans every day. Beans are an excellent source of protein. I love beans. All right, let's give her a shot. Uh, one bite, everybody knows the rules. It's pretty damn good, Buster. Yeah, I'd say so. It's better than a can of like B and M. Yeah, that's for damn sure. Yeah. No disrespect to BNF. No, we love BNF. If you're in a pinch and need something quick, yeah, open up a can. But we love that. This is just. Uh, See how the onions broke down like they did. The only thing I would say is like you know, me personally, I put a, maybe a little bit more salt in it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe a little bit more black pepper. But you know, that's something that people can do on their own. They can do it on their own. That's why they make individual salt pepper shakers. Hot. Fucking hot, yeah. You're crazy, diving right in. I'll keep on saying it. You're like, you're like Portnoy eating pizza on the side of the road, <laughs> burning your mouth off. Yeah, I know, right? Freaking Portnoy. Delicious, I can get some of the salt pork. Yeah, that salt pork's a nice little treat. Nice little treat. Oh, hell yeah. Yep. Well, yep. there you go. How give, you do it. give a little close up of these beans. That is how you do it. Look at the size of that piece of salt pork right there. Yeah, that's fucking, got my name all I'm over fucking it. Fucking emotional guy. Beans, you can have them for breakfast, you have them for lunch, you have them mm -hmm. for dinner. You know, like Tony was saying, you know, freaking the loggers. They love their damn beans. The loggers, yep. You know what else? Integral part of the Civil War, too. That's right. You know, my, uh, my mother was saying that my, my great grandfather beans every meal. Mm, I believe it. Yeah. Looks like. Rich in uh, protein, amino acids. That's right. A lot of energy. God damn, that's good. I love it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. America. Woo. Ah! Do the parts. All right, buddy. Let's go potty. Let's do it. What do you say, aunt or aunts? Uh, aunt. Aunt. Aunt or aunt? Aunt. Aunt. Aunt or aunt? Aunt. Ma! Dump them out! Stop it. Get some help. I'm just kidding. Aunt Aunt! Oh my god, don't dump them out! Aunt Aunt! What do you say? Aunt Aunt! 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 Aunt Aunt
Ah. Hey, how the beans? They're good. Settle down, Emerald. Aunt, drag with the aunt. Aunt Durant. Stop. Say Aunt Durant. Aunt Durant. No, you're supposed to know what do you say, you dummy. It depends on who it is. Dump them out! You've got mail. mail, mail. mail, mail. <laughs> all right, we got questions from the Discord. We're gonna get right after them. All right. Mm -hmm. Question number one comes from Inspector J. Can you use a red snapper as bait? Uh, yes, you can, Inspector J. Done it myself personally when I was a wee lad. Had a brook down back. House I go up in. You gotta use the whole red snapper. Don't just use the skin. Use the whole thing. Them trout love them, especially them trouser of trout. Yeah, trouser of trout love them. Yeah. <laughs> Question number two um, comes from Minifan Kim Jong Un. Ooh. How do you fix a well pump? I'm gonna tell you this. If uh, you get a well pump that shits the bed, there's really no fixing it. You're replacing it. Mm. In order to replace it, it's kind of a pain in the ass. You're gonna have to build a T rod with an MPT male thread that's gonna go into the, the female. Yeah. It's either one inch or three quarter. I can't mm -hmm. remember. Then you need to pop that out of the slot, and then you're gonna be running that line across your freaking yeah. Yeah, yeah you gotta keep well look the fuck out because yeah. you're kind of you're 300 feet across your door yeah. yeah no shit it's kind of a pain in the ass yeah. but once you get it up there then you gotta rewire the new pump in mm -hmm. drop it back in get it back in its slot so it's kind of one of those things you probably yeah. want to have someone there that's at least done it before yeah. or like a professional yeah just leave it to a professional that's my recommendation you don't want to don't want to do this twice it's a pain in the ball yeah it is a pain in the ass i've done it a couple times tony's mm -hmm. done it a couple times mm -hmm. it, yeah so it's one of those things. Yeah. Uh, question three, also from Inspector J. Ooh. Do you use corn or beans in your cornhole bags? Well, it's a pretty straightforward question, Inspector J. I think you'd already know the answer. It is cornhole. It's not bean hole. It's not beans. It's cornhole. That's it's right. It's corn. It's that, that simple. That's right. Native Americans call it maize. Huh. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Way out of the time. Question four, from, coming from Patrick. What do you do if you've already stained your deck and it's darker than you like? Destination fucked. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's one of those situations before you even fucking put the stain to your deck, go do a test spot, all right? Get up underneath it on the ledger or up on the joist or something. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't, if you can't get underneath it, like come somewhere on the box somewhere, just mm -hmm. do a little test spot. Yeah. And then therefore you can like gawk at it. The old lady can gawk at it yep. and be like, oh, okay, this is I lovely. like it. It's too light. It's too Dark. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's yeah. go with this one. Yeah. yeah, no matter what, the first the first attempt ain't gonna be right. So get two stains. Yeah, seriously. And you know, I've always noticed that you know, and it don't just react right right at the beginning because you're gonna put it on, yeah. it's gonna look super dark, yeah. and that's gonna lighten up after you let it exactly. dry exactly. and do it. Work. Make sure you make sure you. Uh, Put it in the sun. You know, if you don't want to get a spot that's buried from the sun, though, no, the sun impacts it. That's so right. Maybe even take a test board. Just put it out there. Yeah, yeah. if you got a little extra piece of uh, pressure treated or whatever you're using for your deck, and just stand that up, leave it out in the sun. Yeah. And that's what we got to say about that. That's it. If you got any questions, slide in the DM DMs or go into Discord. Join that Discord, you lazy yep. bastard. Yep. And uh, hit that better than it used to be channel. Ask us some friggin' questions. Do it. Do it. Hopefully, see all your knuckleheads and soccer. Or maybe you can ask us a couple things about a thing or two while we're up there. Yeah, that's right. This is the bell 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 What a shitty day. Goodbye. Whew. Wow. I'm still full from yesterday. Mmm. Mmm mmm mmm. Luscious. Rapid fire recap. Go. No, you go. You go. Uh, you go. Okay. All right. So, dig a hole in the ground. Yes. Get your fire going. Build them coals up. You want to build them all the way up to the top. Type of wood. You want hard wood. Nice and dry. Not pine, not soft wood. Okay. How do we make our beans? What do we use for ingredients? We use beans. Okay. We use salt pork. We use uh, 
brown sugar. We use molasses. We use maple syrup. We use dry mustard. And salt and pepper. And onion. And onion. Can't forget about the onion. We're gonna compile that. We're gonna, before we do anything, we're gonna soak our beans for 24 hours because yep. it removes gaseous properties from the beans. Yes, exactly. Okay. We're gonna build up that fire. We're gonna build up the coals. We're gonna remove half the coals. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put the beans in there. We're gonna put our coals back on. We're mm -hmm. gonna cover it with dirt. And we're gonna cover more dirt and we're gonna let her go for about 10, 12 hours. Yeah, gonna let it fester. Don't push it. Don't think it should be done by now because usually it ain't done by now. We need all that time to roll that beautiful bean right, footage. Right, right. All that nice uh, delightfulness needs to be in that pot. Don't Vinyl siding, it. what do we do? You f first off, I hit a golf ball into it and make it like crap. Then what do you do? Yep, you make it like crap first. You gotta replace that piece. So you gotta expose that piece. You come in with a seam. You expose that piece by running in one direction with your hand. You can do it with your hand, mm -hmm. okay? Take the piece off with the claw of your hammer, very simple. Put the new piece in. You want to have the factory edge on one side, overlapping underneath, and on the other side, on top of. All right, when you nail in your nails, leave them about a quarter mm. inch off the side Four. of your house so your piece of siding can move. It, it needs to, to be able to move in the heat yep. and it needs to be able to move in the cold. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. get yourself a zip tool. You're going to need that Woo. puppy. All right, yeah. pull down, maintain force, work in one direction, get that siding back on. You know something about the siding? Well, it's better than it used to be. And you know something about my toilet? It's not better than it used to be. <laughs> it's not better no, than it used no, to be. No, that thing's toxic. Yeah, we can remove some gaseous properties. Not all. Not all of it. Amen, brother. <sighs> I got something better to do than this bullshit. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Hey, what do you think of the beans? Yeah, they were okay. What do you think? You're emerald? <laughs> emerald. Emerald. Not emerald. Emerald. <laughs> like the color. Yeah, I'm fucking emerald. Yeah. Yeah. Not literally fucking them. Go right there and then I'll walk right into this shot. You're on. All right. Action, Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> Sorry, fuck. <laughs> leave it all. I mean, seriously, look at this freaking gem guy. Look at these fucking, look at that paddle boat. Look at your freaking sailboat. Look, you got a freaking armada right here, sitting here at the dump. Look at this freaking armada. One, two, three, three paddle boats. Look at this sweet ass little freaking John boat. And then you got this puppy with the old freaking old glory hanging off of it. That's freaking sweet. Look, America. America, my bombardi. I bet the engine's blowing in that puppy. Yeah. Oh yeah. She's missing a couple of pots, but that's all right. She's got some good stuff in there. I'm sure she does. Might need a Tums. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's the biggest piffer. Have an idea for a show? Or want to teach us a thing or two about a thing or two? Slide into the DMs, get in touch with us, get on the show, make it better than it used to be.